Hello, hi everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a multi-level pivot table report. Obviously, I know you have already created this kind of report in Excel file sheet, but here we are going to do the same thing in ServiceNow. So before even creating this type of table, let's first explain what we have in our table and then move on creating the new table and also explain as well why it can be useful. So first thing what you have to notice uh, this this table this report is created out of uh, incident table and you can add as many columns you want as well you can add as many rows you want here I have two columns assigned to a category and as well two rows priority and state so as you can see here I have all the assigned to person I have Abbott, Beth, Bud, David, Deepa, Don and so on but under Airball, I have categories. All the categories, which has been, which has uh, all the categories that Abel have. So, which means like, if it has, if Abel is working on a particular incident and it has the category hardware, you're gonna you're gonna have that category. If you compare to David, it has only inquiry. It doesn't have any other categories. That because. It doesn't work on any other incident which has the category hardware or or software or uh, database that's how you have this distribution so in the same way it works on the as it works on the column level it works as well on the row level on the row level I chose to put the priority and the state and the first thing comes here is the priority I have all the different priority critical, high, moderate, low, planning as you know for the incident table. And under each priority, I have the incident. So you can see here for the incident, which are critical, and you have all the different state. Not every state, you have new in progress and close, but if you look at carefully for the moderate, you have the new in progress, close and cancel. We don't have every state it works in the same way that i explained you for for david david has only inquiry help as a category where he has one incident so in the same way we have only for example here for the priority high only the row new because we don't have any other incidents worked on in progress or close under the priority high for anyone that's the information that you have to get that's how you have to understand this multi-level pivot table another interesting thing is let's say you don't want to focus on everything you can just collapse this thing and then go for critical and you want to just focus on the first row here the new this is the incoming flow you have all the incidents which are critical and which are new so it means which means like they are not they haven't been touched by any anyone on the team let's say it's wrongly distributed to among the team members and you want to redistribute them properly so let's say you have here instead of having one as a number you have 10 so why not give some of them to David, why not give them some of them to Don? Why not give them some of them to Deepa? So that's how you can redistribute your incoming flow um, incidents. So that's one of the ideas that's coming into my mind. As well as something else uh, I can add here, which is like before even redistributing your incidents, you have to have, you have to be aware if that person is in the office or not. And as and as so we have to check their availability in the office so maybe they are in vacation maybe uh, they are sick or this kind of information so that information you don't have in this table another thing as well which can be interesting because as we have all the categories software hardware network and database and inquiry you can have for example an assessment table which says this person is good at software and you can say this person is good at hardware so you can play as well with that so if you know which person are good on which thing 
you can redistribute properly all your income and incident uh, which are new because they haven't been touched they have just been assigned to someone directly by someone for example and that person can take care based on these criteria like um, their availability and their skill set so these are the information that you don't have but there is a possibility to create a report by uh, getting that information so basically when you create a report in ServiceNow once you save it you have the option also to add a data set if you add a data set which means you can use another table so in our case what we need for example is a table of scheduling table and now schedule table let's say like this and then another table assessment table for for every person in your team what if you combine all these three tables you know to have one report where you know which person are good on what as well if they are available or not um, in a this week or in a specific time so you can read this distribute properly uh, your incoming flow of the incidents to whoever you want uh, based on these criteria but here uh, I don't have that much information I don't have those tables I'm not sure if we can create if I add those data set to come up to the to the to that result that I'm imagining now so it can be part of like writing a script or maybe separate application so that's not the point here what we are going to do here is we are going to create this entire multi-level people table and let's see how it works and one more thing that I would like to add before even creating the table is to one thing is let's say as I said before in the beginning I mentioned uh, we have here number one it's clickable so you, if you click on that you can access the incident I would like to show like a list of incidents so I'm gonna pick a big number here for Beth she has five and let's say I want to assign this to someone else. I'm gonna just do it. Let's pretend that this number five is here and it's like to assign to different people. So what you have to do is just click on the number one, number five here is gonna get back to the list view. We have all the five incidents. And what you have to do, let's say I would like to assign those, for example, I'm gonna just Sold it. So I have those two new incident and I would like to assign both of them just an example and to someone else okay let's say um, to Don or to someone else the way you can do it is there is a like you can use a shortcut if you want to use if you want to assign to a multiple incident um, someone all you need to do is to press Control shift click on the the box here and then double click and select the person you want so I'm gonna click on that and let's say I want to choose uh, a key so I chose a key I would click on OK done so I have assigned all the new incident to a key directly by this way so if you want to get back to your report, all you need to do is to press on the logo here, service now, and you will have your report. So this report is in a widget, and this widget is in a specific page. So now what we are going to do is to delete this content, delete the page, and recreate the entire report and show you how we can do that, okay? So the first thing I have to do is to delete the content. The way you do is just simply go here, close it. So I don't have any more the content. Now I'm going to delete the page. I delete the page. Done. And now I didn't delete the report. Deleted the report. I just deleted the content. Now I have to go back to view run, and I have it in my favorite. So I'm gonna click on my favorite here. I have it here multi-level report. Click on that and delete it perfect at this point we have deleted our report we have deleted our page now we are going to create a new one so i'm going to click on my favorite again reports create new if you don't know how to access all you need to do 
it is the type report here you want to get the report application and under report application you will have the create new module so i'm going to click here it's going to land to this page and i'm going to choose a title that i have already here multi level people report and the table is going to be incident table great incident table i click on next here is the point you have to make sure which pivot table you have to choose you have two different pivot table here and the the one that you have in the other section is not the one that you have to choose the name is pivot table and what we are working the the the, the, the type you would like to choose is the multi-level so it's it's under multi-dimensional reports you click on you over on this box you have multi-level pivot table click on that click next and now is the time to choose what our row what is the all the rows that we want to select and all the columns that we want to have in our report okay as you can see here cannot generate the report to configure the report select row and column values so i'm going to select it click on select rows and my values is going to be the first one is going to be the priority which is on the top so i'm going to just press on the letter p and scroll down a little bit i have the priority and i'm going to press s and i have it so i have my rows here now i'm going to select my columns so the first column is going to be assigned to and the other column is going to be which comes under assigned to is the category it comes here so great so i'm going to click ok and i'm going to put show all that's it we have done pretty much everything it's very quick it's very fast so all you need to do is click on next we have our report the report that i have sh that i showed you in the beginning it's so fast that you have only in few clicks you have the report now what we are going to do is just save it and publish it now i go back to my viewron and search for multi-level report i'm going to put it in my preference because what i'm going to do right now is to add a new page called multi-level people report and add my report um, in that page okay so i'm going here so it's now and you have your multiple page what i want to do is to create a new one you click on this plus button which is allowing me to create a new page and i'm going to select the title and i'm sure it's going to give me the one i want because i did before so multi-level people table report click on that and click anywhere you want and then refresh it because you will have it here right here so what I'm going to do right now is to add the report. Basically, I'm going to add the content here. So add content and there is a simple way as I have it in my favorite. So we have the first, first option here, favorites. So we're going to choose multi-level report that I have and I'm going to place it on the top. Great. So it's done. So I have my report here, it's on the top. You can change the layout. If you have multiple reports, you can like go here and choose the layout you want. So it's pretty much well organized. This is how we can create a multi-level pivot table report. Hope you understand everything in this video and enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.